Hi, I'm Samantha Sherman. I have two children and I live in Westchester County, New York. She was on her treadmill early in the morning and lost consciousness. When she awoke, she had thought she'd just fainted. I was bleeding on my knee, I was bleeding uh, on my elbow, and I felt my face was burning. So we went to the local hospital. They could not manage what they needed to do for me, so they wanted to transfer me to two affiliate hospitals nearby. We have a very good friend who was a surgeon out of that hospital we were in, and we gave him a call to see if he had any suggestions on what to do. He's the one that suggested we go see Dr. Gordon at Montefiore. Timing was critical. She was transferred rapidly, and we began investigations immediately as soon as she arrived. When an aneurysm ruptures, there's a very high risk that that aneurysm is going to rupture again. And each time there's a brain bleed because of an aneurysm, there's a 30 to 50% chance that that person will die or have a permanent neurologic problem as a result of that bleeding episode. When we met Dr. Gordon, I was very out of it. I had a lot of medication at that point, so I really remember very little of the first interaction with him. Uh, what I do remember is telling him not to let anything happen to me because I had two kids at home. My impression was that she was less concerned about her life relative to her than she was about her life relative to her kids. And she wanted me to get her back to her kids. And I said that I would do my very best to do that. The technical term for the procedure is endovascular coil embolization. And what that means is we're going through the blood vessels and putting coils in an aneurysm from the inside. There's been a paradigm shift over the last 20 to 25 years with the development of new technology we call endovascular technology, where we can approach some of these problems from within inside the blood vessel. It was a complicated procedure. It was complicated because of the location, the shape of her aneurysm. I was able to place a small microcatheter inside of her aneurysm, and through that microcatheter, I was able to deliver soft, complex, metal coils that eliminated the aneurysm from the remainder of her brain circulation while preserving blood flow to the rest of her brain, which was the goal. Today, Samantha's doing great. She's doing wonderfully, and she's living the life she was living before all of this happened. We really feel like it was just this meant to be type thing. I mean, everything that happened was supposed to happen that day. It just kind of happened exactly as it needed to happen in order to have the result that we've had. We can't say enough about Dr. Gordon himself. I mean, he's just been, I mean, he's our lifesaver, literally. Um, so we owe him everything. When I woke up that morning, I certainly did not think that it was going to end the way it did. Um, and that's something that you have to kind of keep remembering on a day-to-day -day basis. You become more grateful for the things that you have and the people in your life. And it reminds you to try and appreciate those little moments every day instead of, you know, kind of letting them just pass by.